Specific gravity is an important physical property of rocks and minerals and therefore of soil particles because they're composed of those rocks and minerals. We have a setup here to de help determine the specific gravity or as it's often called in soils the particle density. So we'll first find the mass of this rock which is 36.2 grams but to find the density we also need the volume. So we're going to use a displacement method here to determine the volume of our rock because mass divided by volume is equal to density. So I'm going to take my rock and wrap a small string around it so that I can immerse it in my water. Now as I immerse it in the water it's going to displace an amount of water equal to its volume. What my scale is going to show is the mass of the water that's been displaced. And the mass of the water that's been displaced here is 14.2 grams. Since the density of the water is equal to 1, that means that 14.2 cubic centimeters of water have been displaced. Now I want you to see what happens here though if I allow the rock to settle on the bottom of the container instead of just being immersed in the water and suspended. If I put it on the bottom of the beaker, the, the mass is 36.2, which is the mass of the rock. So the density of this rock, specific gravity, is 36.2 grams divided by 14.2 cubic centimeters which is 2.55 grams per cubic centimeter. Very close to our number that we used as our average for the particle density of soil particles. 